You may find yourself still juggling between multiple platforms to do LinkedIn and email steps within your outreach. There is a much simpler way to do it by just combining all of the automated LinkedIn steps and all of the automated emails into one simple campaign from the same platform. That's what I'm going to show you today, a way to create a campaign using AI or manually to have automated LinkedIn steps and emails within the same campaign. The impact of that, well, it's about 35 to 40% more chance that you get a reply from that campaign. It's also a lot less work, so let's look at how you can do it. So once you're on Lemnist, what you need to do very simply is click on create a new campaign. Here now you have two options. What I'm gonna to do today is go through the manual method because what I've done is I've created a video on the AI sequence generator, but what you can do is create your campaign automatically using AI. What this will do is it will take the inputs, so the inputs like who you're targeting, the particular sector or industry, and the purpose that you're reaching out, what it is that you help people do, and then a bit about your value proposition. So here it's how do you do that? Well, we help sales teams and B2B agencies to book more sales meetings by providing a software that allows personalization at scale, which is one of your value propositions. Then you can talk about a trigger. So you have a lot of options here and you also can type your own about the reason you're reaching out, the language, and then the tone. All you need to do is click generate and it will create an entire AI sequence based on those particular inputs. And it will be personalized, of course, so it'll be more effective. Now, again, like I said, if you click here, this link, it will take you to that video where I go in depth and talk about how you can do that. What we're gonna do today though, is just create one manually. Here we'll be able to choose between a mix of emails, which are automated LinkedIn steps, which are all automated. You don't have to send any more manual LinkedIn steps. So LinkedIn connections, LinkedIn messages, you can just automate all of that. And we'll show you how you can also put manual steps like calling and manual tasks into the same campaign. So here we go. Let's start with an email step. Here you go, that's it. You click on email here, you add your particular person, let's just say me. And then what you can do is, of course, not only just have one email address, you can have multiple different email addresses within Lemlist. There you go, you got multiple senders, let's add a few more. There you go, there you go, there you go. And instead of just having one email address, now my inbox is automatically rotating and sending from eight different email addresses. What that does is it means that instead of hitting the limits, it means I can go over and above the limit for one particular email address and it means I can send a higher volume of emails without getting banned. So super useful. Then of course, here you have the section to write your email subject line. So here you go, subject line. And then you have your email content as well. So there you go. That's how you add an email step. Once you've done that, you can come in and you can add the next step. Let's say, for example, we want to add an automated LinkedIn profile visit. All you need to do is for this step, force a specific sender and make sure that I choose myself, which is this one here. This is the account that I have linked with the LinkedIn. So what's going to happen here is after this email, two days later, because you can adjust the waiting time, the lead will have their LinkedIn profile viewed automatically without you having to do anything. Next, what do we have? Well, let's say you want to carry on on LinkedIn and you want to send them a connection request. Again, force a specific sender, make sure you attach the right account, and then you can send a LinkedIn invitation with or without a message. I'd recommend not with a message if you're just going to do something generic. If you're going to send something personalized, of course, you can add a message in and there's that step. Next, one more thing with LinkedIn, you can automatically send messages. See, just the same process here, force the sender, put it on myself and we're good to go. This message will be sent if they're a first degree connection. And if they're a second or third degree connection on LinkedIn, this message will be sent as part of a connection request. Of course, you can use custom variables like this one here, hi, first name, X, Y, Z, whatever it is that you want to put in your message. And what that will do is it will take the information that you've input into Lemlist and it will send all of those messages without you having to go manually one by one. No more copy and pasting. Now, let's say you've done some stuff on LinkedIn and you want to carry on with an email follow-up. No problem. You can just have the same thing here, leave the email subject line blank, and it will take the same one as we used here and then we can write our content follow-up all right let's make it nice and clear we can put follow-up email and there you go that will be sent after all these steps two days after this now let's say we want to add a calling step very easy simple again you click on the plus and then you click on call then what you can do is write yourself a little reminder so quick call after email something like this remember to check website. That's that there. And it will be prompted within the task section to go and make that call. Finally, when you want to add a manual task, all you need to do is click on the plus sign, click on manual task and say, let's say, for example, LinkedIn voice notes, put the same down here, send LinkedIn voice notes, and it will come up in the task section for you to be able to send the LinkedIn voice note in your own time, go and open their profile and do that particular step. Now, of course, once that's done, that's the important part. But now you can come up here, you can adjust the image that you've got associated, the little emoji to make it nice and clear or make it a little bit more fun. Then you can change the name so it's clear for you to come back to in the future. And of course, this button means that it's running or not running. So if you want to stop the campaign because there's a mistake or you want to stop it for any reason, you just click that and then you need to 
remember to restart it again to make sure your leads start getting contacted. Up in the settings, you have a lot of things to do. So you can add tags. Also, you can adjust the settings here. And then you can also make sure that the schedules and the CRM integrations are nice. You can check here, modify this schedule, check that the leads are going to be reached out to at an appropriate time, and then connect any CRM that you need to. Last thing to do then, you add some leads. So you can import leads in many different ways. You can use our lead database. You can do it manually yourself. You can go on LinkedIn and use the Chrome extension. Let's just use a CSV for the purpose of this. Come along here, choose your file, click continue. Make sure everything's just right. Continue. And then we're going to say, verify existing emails, import, and you'll be ready to go with these contacts. Bingo, there you go, they're all there. So I just used some of our employees just as an example. Finally, you're ready to go in the review section. Look, you can see all of the steps that we've just put in, the waiting time, a couple of the messages, look, and even for this one, it's got each different name because we added the custom variable in and we've got that information there ready to go. Our call step and our manual task. So once I click review on these guys, I can do it here or I can do it one by one. It will launch the campaign and it'll be ready to go. And it will start with this automated email address that it will send. Now to show you a bit more of a real example where I've actually written something instead of me just saying blah, blah, blah. Here it is. Here's an example that I've set up. Everything's there nicely. All the settings are done. There's already leads added. I've got A-B testing, which you can see here. So you can see a difference in the CTA and also in the intro here. In order to do that, all you need to do is just click on the three dots and you can A-B test like that. You've got all sort of waiting steps. You've got the LinkedIn automations and so on that you can see here, plus a manual task, send LinkedIn voice notes just here. And then finally, one thing that you can remember to add is this here. So if you come to the bottom of the page and you've got all your campaign ready to go, or you're just building your campaign and you want to add a condition, so a yes and why or branching as it's normally known as, you can do that just like this. You come along to the same spot, you click plus, and you can say, for example, at whatever point in the campaign, if the lead has a LinkedIn URL, then you can say, visit their profile, then send them a connection request. That's done. If they don't have a LinkedIn URL, call and then send an email. Simple as that. So that's how you can add conditions. And it means you don't have to keep coming back to your campaign and doing it manually. Now, if all that sounds like a lot of hard work, all you have to do is come along to this link here, which I'll add in the description below and choose one of these campaigns. What you're able to do is you can come and check the campaigns for yourself, take a look and see which one you like. Then you can just duplicate it into your own lemon list. So let's look at one that I've done. For example, you click on this here and you arrive at this page and then you are able to take a look at exactly the campaign that I've written. There you can see, look, I've added the templates. I've added the actual content as an example so that you can see. You click on your team up here. You click whichever team you would like to import it to and then you click a duplicate. Simple as that. So you can try Lemlist out for free. You can duplicate a campaign and you'll be ready to go pretty much without any blank page syndrome within a couple of minutes. There, I hope you liked the video. Any questions, let me know. And of course, to try it out for yourself, click the link in the description below.